but Premiere Pro has actually tracked it and it's actually done a quite a good job. Now this is quite a cool effect if you ask me. Like it, it, it it's done a really good job of tracking. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. My name's Jack Fairman. I'm a freelance videographer, photographer and video editor. Now if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned to the channel and subscribe for more and check out some of my other videos. So I'm jumping straight into this. How do we create a vertical video automatically? If you want to learn how to do the basics of creating a vertical video, check out the video up there. It goes over the basics. But what we're going to do is create it automatically. And what this feature does is automatically track the motion as well of your subject. Say you've got someone, in this case, someone skateboarding. And you want someone and you want it to track it instead of you doing keyframes you want it to track it automatically now the tracker in Dover Premiere Pro can be a bit iffy but this one seems to work pretty well so what we're going to do we're going to move to a new item like video again 1920 1920 if I can actually type by 1080 okay and we're just going to drag that and create our sequence now what we're going to do we're going to drag the clip that we want onto here you can, we're going to scale it to the actual frame size, there we go. As you can see, standard clip, normal, if we do stuff. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to come down to the black for the actual sequence, the actual sequence in the preview bin. What we're going to do, we're gonna, you can tell it's the sequence because it's got this little icon here, it says sequence on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click, and we're going to come up to auto reframe sequence. Now this is pretty cool. You can. You can give it a name, whatever you want to call it. What type of stuff you want to change it to. You can change it to a square, vertical, the other vertical, horizontal, or custom. What we want to do is vertical 9 by 16, the standard phone thing. So what we're going to do, click that. Default motion tracking, if you're going to want it to be in slow motion, or default or faster, we're going to keep it default. And this is going to automatically track our clip. We don't want the nest, nest of clip, so just click create. And what it's going to do, bang. As you can see, it's automatically created our little video. And if we scrub through this quickly, you can see that our Premiere Pro has automatically done some keyframes and it's tracking the clip by itself, it's tracking the motion. Now, I don't know about you, but that's pretty cool. If we wanted to do this, we would have to, like, look, if I show you the, the default, he would go off screen about there, but Premiere Pro has actually tracked it and it's actually done a quite a good job. Now this is quite a cool effect, if you ask me. Like, it, 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 it's done a really good job of tracking, so yeah. And you can also change it to a square or whatever you wanna do, but for me, I want this for social media. If you're gonna make social media content, this is a very good way to save yourself a lot of time. Anyway guys, that was just a quick little uh, tutorial on how to create a vertical video automatically with the tracking feature. Now, I, I really don't know about you, but that is really cool. I've spent so many times just keyframing clip by myself for hours and hours and hours and I'll mess it up and I have to redo it all again but Premiere Pro does it automatically for you and quite a decent job as well so if there's something you'd like to see subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos and if you're all in the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro click that video up there and it goes over all the basics how to import your clips how to edit your basic stuff and export your clip for usage and whatever you want to do, social media, YouTube, whatever you want to do. That teaches you the basics. Anyway guys, that's been Jack Fernley and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.